This is my life now. Today's video is brought to you by no one. So I guess it's up to you to help support the channel by clicking like, share, and subscribe, and doing all the things. <laughs> just look at this fish. He's in there with his Christmas moss, just ripping it all the heck. He's just a little sassy little fish who always destroys everything. And then here's my little custard dish of duckweed. I pulled that out yesterday. That's some water from the aquarium because I want to try and experiment and see how much I can get it to reproduce because Orangey ate it all or most of it. And then when I cleaned the filter out yesterday, there was some that had grown back in the filter. So the end. doing fasty he's funny boy you pretty boy It's super windy. It's about six o'clock at night. It is the 28th of April, and we're about to have our first actual thunderstorm of the year. And I'm kind of bummed because I. Ooh, look at that. That's a good view, actually. I don't have a really good way to film the storm this year. But we all know how much I love my storms. I just put chicken wire up my escaping chickens in the lightning storm so that just proves how bright I am. I might go in and get my tripod and set it up for a minute. Kirby, did you die? Are you ready for pets? Kirby. Kirby. Ah, ah, you're ready for pets. Good morning, Frosty Bird. Are you just bummed? You're always in the back of the cage, so my camera won't focus on you. But you are a pretty bird. Oh, don't you lift your wings up at me? You guys can't really tell because the camera won't focus on him, but there's a bird in here named Frosty. I don't remember. He's a cockatiel, maybe? He's a very pretty boy. Look. Pat filled your cup up with foods. Ew. You're just sassy. You just want Pat here. Well, he'll see you Monday. Frosty. Oh, I know. Oh, you're so cute. I really like you. You're so cute. Oh, you're handsome. With your little spiky hair. <laughs> Frosty boy. Stretching. Oh, I know. I wish I had a bigger cage. You wouldn't know what to do with yourself, though, huh? All right, old man, I gotta go to work. I can't hang on here all day. I got things to do. I got things to do. <laughs> as soon as I turn the camera on, they fly away. I'm working by myself today, so. I don't know. I was watching these robins out the window and they were pretty cute, but they flew away when I turned the camera on. I don't know now that I've got the TV turned off if it'll do it again, but there's some creature stuck in the stove. I don't have the balls to try to get it out. It's either a bird or a squirrel. My dude thinks it might be mice. 
whatever it is. I had to come down the pipe because look at all that mess it made. You can't really see through those. Uh, anyway, I'll try to catch it on camera again. Every time I push play, it stops. What's your deal? You can get up here and sit next to me. <laughs> Weird. It's May the 2nd. My car broke down this weekend. I'll explain that to you in a bit. Oh, buddy, did you slip? But uh, I was supposed to ride my bicycle to work today, and that's not gonna happen. <sighs> Yesterday when I was going to collect eggs, I found this peacock feather in the yard. And um, it's actually really pretty. The light in here is kind of glum because it's glum outside, like I said, but um, we always like associate peacock feathers with my grandma who passed away in 2013. Um, and I just say that my grandma was visiting me yesterday um, and she left that for me. Especially because I don't know where there's a peacock within miles of me, so. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool and I put it in that spider plant because it's pretty there and it will remind me of her. Uh, and especially since I've been having such a tough time, especially this weekend, I had such a tough time after everything that happened. Um, I just, thought that was really sweet. So thanks grandma, I love you. Hi, Orangey. Where are you? They're hiding. Find all these plants. <gasps> I've decided basically that Orangey has killed all his tank mates. I am fine with it. I mean, I'm a little disappointed in him, but it's fine. This is the most luxury orange he's ever known his whole life because this tank used to just sit with him and his fish brothers and sisters um, with nothing in it because, because, but, <clears throat> well, mostly because I was using the, the water for the plants. Um, not that I didn't like care about my fish. It was just the intention was different but I figured we get a new home and a new life so so should Orangey because Orangey survives two winter freezes. I thought maybe Orangey might be lonely. I don't know if fish get lonely but apparently not so lonely that he didn't want to eat his friends. So no more friends for Orangey. So I stuck a bunch more plant cuttings in here this weekend because I was reading that to keep the nitrogen level low like plants that grow outside of the tank like this is the Syngonium. This is Pothos. This is a tra I don't know how to say it. I should know by now, but I don't. Anyway, those do a better job to keep the nitrogen level low than actually planted aquarium plants, which I'll get some of those too at some point. And like I said, we have the Christmas moss. Here's the progress on the duckweed. Um, slow but going. So yeah, and I was telling my mom, I think what I'll do is put a tank down here uh, on the bottom I'll just get like a 10 gallon regular aquarium and uh, <clears throat> just grow the duckweed out in there because he eats the duckweed. So that is a good free fish food basically. So yeah. Anyway, that is the scoop with orangey. He seems to like it. So there's that. Okay, there's this dark walk down the hallway. We're going to let the puppies out and then I'm going to take my morning shower. I should really update you on my routines. Changing everything in my life is really changing my routines, but I've been taking two showers a day or a nice bath at night and a shower in the morning. <laughs> it's excessive, I know, but um, would you like to go outside, Mr. Rivers? Could you sit, please? Sit. Hey, you're on camera, sit. Ruger. Good boy. Wait. Wait, you good boy, wait. Okay, go. Kirby, you can go outside. They don't, oh, it's melting off a little bit. They don't want to, well, she doesn't, because she doesn't like that icky stuff. 
Huh, Kirby girl. Nah, she says no. <laughs> I got things to do.